Yo. DG Exert Rev. I haven't played this game in a minute. Let me hang up. Since we have rollback now, I can finally do this. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Finally. Create your own nerd stream. No password default. Rematch should be off. No private slots. Capacity 8. Number of stations 1. Should be good. Let's do this. And now, we wait. Now we just wait. Wonder what crazy nonsense I'll end up getting hit by today. If any. More games should do what KOF 15 and Guilty Gear Strive did, where they add in all of the older music alongside the newer music. What's up, girl locker? Long far slash you got there. That's cool. One mini pulse destroys the entire house. One frickin' mini boss destroys an entire house. That's bad. Hammer. I found out I hate literally everyone in this game. You and me both, dude. You and me freaking both. Get away from me. Oh, he blocked my burst! Ah, don't jump in my skies. What's up, Tenjin? That simply means you are a true GG player. <laughs> what he said. Welcome to Anime Fighters. Yeah. My patience for this game is very thin. Yeah. Bring me back to Blaze Blue. 
Just gonna stay in BB. Yeah, you see what's up. So how about that Grand Blue getting new stuff? Shouldn't have mashed. Okay. Ah, I've been fish hooked. Boy. Oil. What the heck? Ah. Doing wall bounce. Going my way. I'm so tired of this character being the tallest in the game, but also the shortest. Like, look at that! Okay. Oh, golden 10 ton, or golden 100 ton. This isn't good. I messed up. How did you get to jump out of that? Help! Boy! This isn't good. Kill his ass! Damn it! Mini dude was supposed to kill his ass. Lancer minion is supposed to kill his ass. It's not munching that. Munching lax. Ah, I didn't too much fast enough. Black hole. Uh oh. It, you're starting to really get on my nerves. Ah, uh, big mini pulse. That's cool. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, next time Grand Blue goes on sale, I'm definitely buying it though. I'm not sure I would recommend it, but I don't really know what they're gonna add in Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. Can't wait for Exerd Cornballs come in and praise it. Uh, no one wins when you play anime fighters. That's not true. I win. And that one Kokonoe player, and then Zen, the, the Ragna player, all of them win. I don't win, never mind, scratch the I win part. I don't win ever, because I I can't match against people around my skill level. Okay. Ah, I've been doored. Frickin' mini Faust. This freaking black hole! Why? A really, really fun. Uh, 
Uh, just give me Grand Blue Rollback so I can go back to playing Matera slash Soros. Might try Zero. I don't know who they added after Belial. What? Six P. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh right, air unblockable. Shoot, door. Golden hammer. Got him. Ocean drug. Uh, Ladiva for life. I don't vibe with Ladiva's design, although I think it's a cool game, cool character. That's what you meant. Uh, Ladiva super gives me life. Which one? Wait. Yeah, no. Which one? There are two. Every character has two supers. Masher. Hey, it worked. This freaking fish hook thing. Why do you keep getting mini bows? Make it stop! Is that gonna be worth it though? Meteor! It's fine, he blew himself up. Cool, dude. Another meteor. Being a character with stubby normals and no mobility. Well, not really stubby, stubby normals, just slow normals. tried to fall on me with a button. I got the best anti-air in the game. Uh... 
truly a GG player, got hit and still kept pressing buttons, and there he goes. I do hope Grand Blue Rollback comes out in like autumn, unless there was a date already. No, there was no date, just set this year. Probably after DBFZ rollback. Probably. What? It would be really freaking funny if Grand Blue Rollback it gets announced after DBFZ rollback and then comes out before DBFZ rollback. That would be. That would be really rough. For every DBFZ fan, me included. Mostly because I want to see Street Fighter 6 during the summer, and if DBFZ rollback truly comes out early 2023, so it might be in spring, it would be perfect. DBFZ for spring, Street Fighter 6 for summer, and Grand Blue for autumn, perfect calendar. Yeah, that would be good. That would be really solid. And before DBFZ, Grand Blue, and then Street Fighter 6 come out all the time. All at the same time in June. That would be a massive kick in the pants to all fighting game fans. Because then I would have to, everyone would have to make their decision. They have to pick and choose which one they want to play. The only one that would benefit are the Street Fighter 6 fans, because, not fans, Street Fighter 6 devs, because they would be the ones selling something new. Well, no, that's not true. Granblue would also be selling things, so. Because I assume you have to buy the new update for Grand Blue Fantasy versus. Nope, that would be a kick in the pants to everything that is not Street Fighter. Street Fighter 6 wins that. Yeah, you're right. I need an adult. Edo. Whoops. The tree. What am I doing? Damn it. Alright, that's getting annoying. Interesting decision. But patience, my mans. What did you try to do on wake up? I was gonna wonder when you were gonna either air barrier or just do something different. I really hit him with like six six B's, six H's, not B's. Why'd I say B? That's not even the right same. It, it, eh, yeah. Six six C would have been more acceptable. Uh, Grand Blue actually died. Grand Blue had rough timeline. Lifetime, as it is, came out during Rona, affected it a lot, then had barely any tournaments. Came out during the time when rollback was becoming more popular, GG plus R. Suck. Okay, alright. This is death. What the? Man, screw this game. Uh oh. Yep. I mean, popular GG Pulsar and GGPO being more popular, rough updates. I'll 
question that in a second. Okay, you did six feet. Don't like that. Did knock me down. Okay. This guy's actually using YRC, and it's making me annoyed. Okay. Uh, interesting. I did not think that that's how that interaction would go. I really did not think I would be able to command grab Eno through whatever that was. I don't know how that worked out like that. I guess that doesn't have grab involved, just strike involved? It's a great mechanic. Ouch. I really don't, uh, mm. Like, I'm ducking the thing, but then he just air dashes at me and I'm still taking, I, ooh. Ooh. With a low, low cost of 25 meter. Rough updates like the tournaments. Grand Blue had a rough life as a F fighting game, even compared to the rest. Let it cook in Autumn Arxis. Get him with six D's nuts. I wish. Wow! Okay. Alright. You did that to yourself. Horizontal chemical love wire seer dash is like now I'm gonna do four overheads and then low to another overhead. Yep. I messed up the air dash. Not the air dash, the grounded dash. Damn it. Okay, just 6H, I guess. And it'll work. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Hey, that's a projectile. 
Did you know? <laughs> Blocking is lava? What the heck? You know super is only strike and roll, not throw and roll, and she can throw... She can be thrown out, but the upside is that it's super is plus one. He tried to link my hero. What's up, Moose? I summoned all the pro-level pink squares to this room. Probably didn't need to say that it's gonna happen sooner or later, maybe. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Okay. Shoutouts to Burst hitting houses. This needed to be done, yes. Didn't come down with anything. Okay. You probably tried to do something. Uh, you give up? No, you didn't. You just don't tech in the air anymore. You just don't tech in the air anymore because you're afraid of resets, which is understandable. Oh. Nice! Uh, I'm not gonna burst this. You got me? Thanks, autocorrect. It's everyone's favorite mechanic. I like the mechanic. It just didn't work out for me at that point. Interesting burst decision. Okay, I don't really understand how that worked, but all right. Thanks for me. Huh? I didn't do that right. I... I'm still... I'm... I pressed two ways. He air dashed. I guess I lost my active frames, but I'm still mad. Also, nice to us get smoked, child. I, like... What... What the heck? Whoops. Or not? Question marks. Cool. Hey, chemical love is a projectile. That's a projectile too, bro. I'm sorry, but you lost that one.
Help. I tried to low profile that and it didn't work. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that worked. Nah, none of that. It's young driver. I didn't realize how... I didn't realize how hard uh, Aegis Barrier blows up Eno's toolkit. I really just didn't. Hmm. Like, music note is useless. Chemical love is useless. The reversal supers are useless. Ow. I'm useless. Help. Cool. At least we didn't danger time, I guess. That was not a good use of meter. What the heck, man? Okay, you got me. Kill him up! Kill him! Kill him! Screw him up! Come on, minions! Help me! Thank you! It's too bad you guys can't kill. It's too bad you guys can't kill. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. He's playing a little bit differently. He's trying to outspeed me, I think. All right. Um, all right. Anyone know where you can get the TNS mod pack for UMVC3? Uh, the what pack? I feel like people forgot Sam Show rollback is even coming out. Oh, definitely. Uh... Shoot, I still don't know how to do that combo off of, like, a wall bounce or a wall splat. My house is... Ow. I don't know if that burst was worth it, son. Ah. Wait. Do you always have to go up with a burst? I just tried to super dash. Ah, oh, shoot, that chipped me. Wasted burst. What was the plan? Must have been a misinput. Oh, 
That makes me sad. What the heck? This way? What? Why did you mash? Why did you mash? Actually, why did you mash? Why in God's name would you mash there? Oh, well, that didn't work out as planned. Cool. Nah, none of that. Like, why the, there's, what, like three minions covering his ass and me? And I think I was plus? Like, why the hell, why would he mash? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh. Can't even get UMC3 from Steam, so no idea. Uh, I'm aware tendon. Tendon. Damn. <laughs> tendon. You're just gonna take that? He just insulted your entire existence, Tendon. Don't let him get away with this. Hecking autocorrect. DNS stands for Tempo Never Sleeps. Oh, I thought the mod. I don't know why, but I thought the mod you were talking about was Palette Swap. The thing that adds like a billion characters. Oh, I didn't do that right. Oh, you got me. Shoot. Wait, Steve is actually having fun? Can't have that. I'm putting in a call for the pro pot players. No way, please. Isn't this- wait, isn't Pot versus Jekyll like a really rough matchup? Why did I at least tech that? Hang on. I was even doing the OS that should have let me tech that. What the heck? I guess I didn't hit it within the three frame window. No call Leo players? Oh, no. I don't see how that's an insult, so I guess I'll hold it. It's not an insult. And this woman's whole career. Who's? Jacko's? Or. Okay. Interesting way to keep yourself afloat. I'm so freaking annoyed by that. Right, 15 or like 5 meter cost every time I press the D button for some strange ass reason. Didn't go as planned. I frickin' hate YRC, bro! Okay. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I tried to do uh, command grab super, but I think I messed up the input. Or either that or I was still recovering from backdash. His wacky ass combos, you should be killing you for those hits in the corner. My Eno may be whack, but I can do damage with her in corner if I get a hit. That super is plus, don't forget. I already know that it's plus. You are on the ground? Question marks? Okay. I did backdash. Okay, no, he just didn't. All Eno supers are plus. What the heck? That doesn't make any sense. Why? Why would they do that? Shoot, too far. Oh, that was chemical love. That was definitely chemical love. Ow. Oh, that was 6B. I think. You just grabbed my freaking burst! Well, I guess I gotta uninstall. Oh my god. I thought I would be able to low profile that. Shoot. Grab my DP. Oh my god. I'm wondering if this character isn't this dude's main. His use of YRC makes me believe that he plays someone else, but at the same time, he also... Like, I guess because I'm thinking, I'm not immediately dying, which is making me believe that he knows what he should be using wire or his meter for, but he doesn't know what exactly he should be doing to kill me with the character fully. Ouch. That low profile of my 5k. What's up, Avatar Prince? Oh, that didn't work out as planned. Do it again. Oh, 
Okay. Shoot. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. If only I could jump cancel, uh, what do you call it? I should be over you. No, we're not. BP, where'd you go? God damn. Where did my DP go? It should be strike in Voln. I should have definitely hit him. I was mashing the hell out of it. It's the easiest input in the world. How did I mess it up? How did that happen? Either my input got eight or I'm bad. Don't know which. I better be past him this time. All right, good. All right. Don't know why you did that. I'm gonna assume skill issue. I guess so. Okay. All right. Interesting. Intentional. Fully intentional. My houses. I needed those. Got him. <laughs> Why didn't she block, son? Why didn't she block? Why didn't she do anything? You gotta move yourself. Houses, they blow up. Really glad I did what I did. Got him. Got his ass. 
Got it. Now I lose. Now I lose. Now I lose. I don't know how to fight Dizzy. I freaking lose. So does Jackrow just not have, not use YRC well? Um, yes and no. She has some moves that are really good for it, but because her D button, uh, because her D button does, it takes a small amount of her meter to use every time. It makes it really hard to use it in a lot of situations. Okay. Uh. Whoa, why are see? Or at least I find it hard to use in a lot of situations. Might be easier for some other people. Ah. This sucks. My 2S? Did that just beat my 2S? Why? Son, that's not gonna work. That vein just- Whoa! Whoa, bro! These are some blaze blue ass hitboxes I've- Oh my god. Please, please stop taking my inputs away from me. That's Dizzy having two air, air dashes. down LTG no dude like mm, you saw what happened I did t I, I I'm pretty sure I pressed 2s and then they're jumping whatever ice wing thing just hits me I have to nah it's LTB low tier bald okay all right but yeah anyway like the design of Jacko from what I can see it's like this character seems to have been very clearly designed after the idea of YRC was in play implemented into the game. So to prevent her from being busted, they just... Uh... Made her take, like, some resources that would have made her a really good character. Oops. It's okay, I just did it twice. This isn't good. Flame Spike YRC? I don't really see that one a lot. Well. Really wish I could stop you from just air dashing away. Okay, I don't know if that was worth it. Guess we'll find out in a second. Whoops. Why? Why can't you kill? I wish the minions could kill. I really do. I really do. It's okay. Like you're playing GG2 right now. Like same mechanics. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Uh oh. That is unblockable. That is an air unblockable attack, I think.
Wow, you're thin! I just DP'd your dead angle. That's really funny. I spike YRC. Ow. That's bad. Uh, damn. This just seems so stressful to play. It is! It's really stressful to play versus Dizzy. Okay. I could have grabbed that if I thought that you were going to do it. Well, that sucks. Alright. Out of the corner you go, I guess. Who air dashes? Kill him! Kill his ass! Thank you! That is not what I meant to do. Whoops. Okay. Alright. That's cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I play the best character in the game. Play the best character in the game. What's up, homegrown tone? Street Fighter 4 stream would be cool. Uh, I don't know if you'll ever see that. I think that one makes me especially angry. But that's delay based and um, really hard. And I don't understand how people play that in like four frames of delay and still get these one frame links consistently. All right, so this Eno is about to kick my ass pretty thoroughly. So strange when me and you're gonna play Street Fighter 4 together, that's not happening. Okay. It's starting! It's starting! That's cool. I didn't want to play Exert anyway. Double peed on. Yeah. Because this guy knows how to play the game. Got the R. Kelly twice. Uh. Oh, huh? You can low profile my 2S? Okay. You just did it twice? Hey. Good God. Oh, 
What I'm wondering is if he's wire seeing on reaction, because he did the other one and didn't wire see, and then did that one, and then did. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh my god. Did you do that intentionally? I feel like you did. Okay. Alright. I was even looking for the chemical love, and then... And then... I was looking for the chemical love... Then YRC said, Wamao no. Oh, damn. <laughs> Shoot, I think he did the electric version of that too. But he got hit out of the DP. Still ignoring me? What happened? Why not? Our connection is stable? Oh, um... I... Honestly, I can't give you a good reason. Sure, why not? Ask me to play some Street Fighter 4 anytime, and then, you know, we can play some Street Fighter 4. Corner we go. Damn. My man's is dizzy. Oof. Don't ever get into the corner versus Ramathol. Got it. American resets. Ooh. I love how a dude named with ha question mark question mark entered, walked up to the second tab, thought ha question mark question mark, and left the room realizing it's whack. Uh, what the heck happened? This is what Ram was, then she learned how to throw swords. <laughs> Interesting grab, I'm kind of surprised he got away with that. Well! Is it that time of day already? It only took an hour and then now I'm not gonna be able to play the game because everyone that knows how to play the game is here. Ouch. Shoot. Uh, alright. What's it? You didn't tech forward. Okay. Cool. Ow. Oh, I'm on player one side. I was looking, thinking I still had burst. Wait, what just happened? Why did that sword whip? I... Wait, what? What just happened? 
I'm so confused. So I know I got open, but I don't know by what. Okay, man grab. What the heck was that? I couldn't see what mixed me. I hate Exert, bro. I hate Exert so much. Why am I playing this game? Why am I playing this how many standing overheads does Ram have? Gotta look at the bright side. What bright side? This game's busted as all hell. Got people doing special moves and then spending 25 meters to not do the special move. And then suddenly you made a decision based on the special move you thought they were going to do. But also screen pause. So the decision that you made was actually wrong. And then they're just winning the situation entirely. Skedaddle, skadoodle. I now control the neutral. And there's this. The, ever, the mechanic that everybody hates, but I kind of like it. <laughs> but I kind of like this one. <laughs> Shows that I'm messed up in the head in some way, shape, or form. Damn, man's got load. Why do you play Exit? Like, actually, I don't think the game is that good. I'm mainly just playing it because, I don't know, I'm giving it another chance because rollback. And also, I told you, I still kind of enjoy the game a little bit. I just don't enjoy it when it gets to a higher level of play and then somebody YRCs me to death. You know, Johns could have played Fighter Z. I could have, but less people would have shown up. I, ironically. Do you want to stomp noobs? Got it? That's not what I said at all, and that's also not true. I mean, I guess there's some merit to that. There's a little bit of truth, but... I mostly want people around my skill level. Other cabinets don't work, son. Let's shield. Is that that's not Aaron blocking, is it? No, but it is plus enough that that will happen. Interesting. Okay. At least I took around. Duel, three, three, all or nothing. 
What? Where's my active frames? Oh, that makes me sad. Ah. My Aegis Barrier, damn it. Steve's Lobby 1, open slot, 15 people, one hour wait for two minutes of fun. Steve is like the most inconvenient hooker on the platform. Okay, alright. Alright. Sure. I much prefer this. Shoot. I much prefer this to having multiple cabinets open and then people use my chat to talk about matches that I cannot see. Not realize. Find a back dash. Ah, uh, shoot. I thought me putting Oregon away would be enough. What the hell is 6H? And that's there unblockable. I did not know that. Dude. Damn. I did not know 6H was air unblockable. I would not have teched if I had. Also, wait, now that I think about it, hold on, are you saying that me wanting to play with the game getting rollback means that I want to stomp noobs? Not exactly, like, that's, that's a bit of a stretch. I don't know how you got away with that, but... Okay. Damn. You implied you don't want to fight good players in Exit because they know how the game works with Strone. Alright. They know how the game works to a point where I am unable to play and I do not understand what is going on because I cannot process what is going on. Other than the screen pauses from YRC, they recovered from what they did, and then now I'm in another eight-way mix. 
Like that Remleth ball hit me with a mix that I don't even know if it hit me high or low. Because I don't know when it hit me. This time the command grab. One time a little work. Alright, uh, okay. I think I just got rollback lied to. Okay, yes, that is what I wanted. Half of the beginners won't come back for permanent rollback. Can you guess why? Because they don't like the game. And then this is part of the reason also. Because, uh... Your people know... People will just bully them out. But the main reason, I believe, is because they don't like the game. Okay. Grabs being the zeroth frame. Still don't respect me. Got it. What am I trying to dead angle for? I don't have the meter for that. You kill me? No, you can't. But I'm not gonna attack so that you can reset me in the air. That's an overhead. Damn it. I blocked it, but... 
feel like old heads in the games like BB and GG will always push away the beginners. Oh, of course. Definitely. But I would also say that it's more so GG than BB. At least from my perspective. I don't know. I might be biased because I actually play BB. But um, I would say that there's a lot more stuff that you can knowledge check someone with in this game. All right. Whoa. I think she low me. He would have hit me. Guaranteed. That air reset me because I was apparently air unblockable. All right. This is like you see. This is getting kind of annoying because I'm getting reset when I don't really know when the reset is happening. It's just like the grabs, the grabbing thing definitely gets on my nerves. Uh, okay? Somehow he teched that? <sighs> nope, you're an old head of BB. What? Nope, as in I am I might be biased. Uh, any game in any game would be the same, but I feel like in these beginners got less tools. It's not that they have less tools, they have the same amount of tools as anyone else. It's just they don't they don't know how to use them. You can screw them up more, so to speak. Like there's a lot of knowledge check stuff in Blaze Blue and it's character specific and usually they just they're like rule defying specific situations that don't make too much sense at first glance. And in here, I would say the rules are consistent, but, uh, they're still really, they're, like, significantly faster when they hit you in this game than they are in BB. It's a lot harder to process what's going on. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, I thought that was a different dive kick. I didn't realize the startup for both is the same. Why did that clash, though? I don't know why you did both of these. I guess to keep me blocking. Um... And if we were to play a set in BB, you would knowledge check me into the ground, know it's the same? I don't... I really don't think that it is. The BB tools are easier to use, though. BB combos are also easier. Anyone can cook 2k damage with Ragna. The head is just too far up BB's butthole. Oh, okay! Correction, Mori's butthole. Yeah, alright, alright. All right. What the heck? My game crashed! Ah, oh, now it looks like I RQ'd! No! 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 It's a sign? Uh, nah, we're in Exord. Sign has already passed. Or so more so, we're in Revelator. Sign has already passed. Now it looks like I freaking RQ. Just become a Turbo Nerd in Guilty Gear? I don't want to. I'm not a fan of Guilty Gear enough. Like, I, I get too pissed off at YRC. Like, it's... 
It's too much. That one's too much for me. I'm searching for a room, not making one. Nice RQ. No, wait. I didn't RQ, I promise. My whole ass game crashed. Should I just do the low tier god pose? No. No, wait, it's. No. 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 Uh, just play BB and complain about all other fighting games? No. I don't think I will. Alright, so what I was getting at is in BB, so you have to worry about each character having, uh,. A very specific situation based off of whatever their specific character gimmick is. Like, uh, as Ryle has his unblockable based off of his weak points, Arakune has his setups based off of his curse, Izayoi has everything that she can do based off of her stocks that she gets with her specials, uh, and so on and so forth. In this game, it's less of things like that. Uh, the only one that I can think of that even comes close to something like that would be Johnny with his coins? But he has those from the start of the game. It's like the only character-specific resource that you might have to worry about. I... It, that's the only one that I can think of. But, um... In the meantime... Reset situations are different in Blaze Blue, in which, like... You can grab somebody in the combo, sure, but they'll have more time. Jacko? Jacko doesn't... I, oh, yeah, I guess she does have the things that she can do with Organ, but I... Yeah, you're right. Uh... So I guess it would be like... Ah, no, there's also Cum's Balls. Elfelt... What about Elfelt, though? Jin. Jin and Blaze Blue? Raven... The only thing of him you might have to worry about is his needle slowing. Alright, so there's still knowledge checking things. This also comes balls. Okay, Strange. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. OMG, so I didn't mishear it? No, you didn't. The character's name is Kum Heyun, and they have a move that shoots a ball, but the ball goes left and right. And then the super version of the big ball, that one goes whichever direction they feel. Excitement meter for Raven. Right, right, excitement meter. Uh, but that only affects his super, doesn't it? Banned the word come. Thanks, I guess. What else does excitement meter affect? Isn't it only the stab him a bunch of times and kick him super? Biken alpha counters. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I see what you're getting at. So then, this character has a whole bunch of character specific weird nonsense, as well as Blaze Blue. You're right about that. However, reset situations still happen faster in this game than they do in Blaze Blue. Not to mention they can still vary based on character specificity more because of character weights and I, I'm not... Oh, character wake-up timings. By the way, weight classes, by the way, different character combos. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot more of that. So, in a lot of situations in Blaze Wheel, you can do the same combo versus the same person repeatedly. And then if you're going to try to reset them, then... The reset is pretty obvious that it was a reset. It's... You can see that it happened, you might not have blocked it, but you can see where you were reset. And you can see why you got hit. There's nothing that clouds the screen too much other than maybe Kokonoe or Arakune that I can think of that will make whatever you're doing extremely ambiguous. In meanwhile, in this game, if someone's going to reset you, they're putting you into a situation where you might be able to tech into the air, and then you get hit by an anti-air move that you didn't even really know was anti-airing. Like, some anti-air normal- some aerial normals are air unblockable for some strange reason. A reason that I can't exactly put together. There are situations where you're making it look like you're negative or that you lost your turn, but then you're actually positive and then the enemy gets to just grab you because those are like a one-frame startup. You saw him, you saw the Eno player that we just fought do that to me a number of times. Um, there's more variety in the things that you can do with your meter in this game than in Blaze Blue. In Blaze Blue, you need to do a move, and then that needs to make contact, and then you would be able to use that meter to cancel it. 
but in this game it doesn't need to make contact and on top of that you can cancel the startup of any move and then only spend 25 instead of a full 50. So depending upon what move it might be, if it's still active during its startup, then you can wire C it and then now you have advantage in whatever situation. And then that can lead to you looking at something that normally, if this move had to have completed, it would have been disadvantageous for the person that did it. But because of the spending of 25 meter, it is now advantageous for them entirely and you are put into a string. Uh, roll, wake up in BB. Like, I can argue this to a moon, but I'm driving, so should not just stop. Knowledge check. Uh, I, uh, why are you messaging while typing? He's texting and driving, walks ass. I, he's, I think he's speaking into his phone, which is more acceptable, but I still wouldn't recommend doing it. And I will say that rolling is... Since that's a defensive mechanic that is still punishable, I don't exactly see it in the same light. It's not someone setting you up for something. It's like... Nope, real type. Bro, what are you doing? Please don't do this. Actually, don't do this. But, um, as I was saying... Because... It's someone putting you into a knockdown situation and then setting you up for, okay, if you do anything but tech in place right here, you're going to get hit. That's a little bit different from putting you into an aerial situation or putting you into a grounded situation and then either OTGing you and then hitting you with a mix-up that you can't exactly react to or uh, ending the combo mid-air and then hitting you with a reset that is the same and you would have just needed to know how to avoid the reset entirely in order to have not gotten, or in order to have not dealt with that. I will say though that I remember having a minor conversation with Katatsu where he said that he feels as though a lot of the things in Blaze Blue are really, he used the word sticky meaning that the enemy that's doing the block string will stay on top of you for a really long period of time and they i will admit that that is longer than in this game but that's also because barrier is less of a resource that you need to think about in blaze blue than it is in this game so the trade-off for that ends up being um uh what's it called it doesn't work as efficiently unless you use green guard IB, but uh, that's a little bit hard to get down if you're some sort of people. Yeah, in the air you mash every time as you having in Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean. I also still really don't like the fact that you're like texting and driving at the moment. I don't want to do this. I want to have this conversation if that is the case. Oh, there's also a matter of in Blaze or in Guilty Gear, you can't hold a button to tech. You have to be pressing buttons continuously, and that can also lead to really bad reset situations. Because if you're mashing and you don't know where you're going to tech in a combo, then you can very easily get yourself countered hit. That's one of the things that I really didn't like about this game, because if you're going to give you if you're going to give someone aerial reset situations, as well as give the stagger mechanic where you have to mash to get out, then why are you making it so that they? Why does the game not like auto guard for you at least for a little bit after you come out of that state? Something. I don't really know. Mash the tech sucks ass. Yeah, because it it leads to too many knowledge checks. Also, shoutouts to Potemkin. Ah, backdash. Slide hit. My house is. Oh, my God. 
I already have the K house out, that's why. That's why. Thought I had P house out. Well, this hurts. I did not mean to double jump, and I don't know how I got that. The butt! Okay. But that's the stuff I'm talking about. What just happened there with um, me getting an aerial button and jumping in and then getting grabbed. That's just one of the things that I just like about Blaze Blue. But that's not exactly a reset. That's just me not understanding where I should be or how to position. Ah. I've been 6 feet. Not 6 feet. 6 H. I forgot how much stun that builds up. Alright, you're correct. I don't know how to deal with this. You are definitely right. And then that is a frame trap, and this is a counter hit. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, this name, I need to check if he is who I think he is. Oh yeah, that's him? Who's him? Who's he? Damn, the pop players have arrived. <laughs> What's up, Kaizoku Haru? Get him, Potem King. Ay, yeah. He's a big grappler main, if I recall correctly. I think I saw him playing Tager in BB, and he plays Pot in all GG versions. Oh. Is he, like, a tournament player? Should I be worried? Yeah. Pretty much. Well, shoot. Screw me. It's really unavoidable. Okay, you got me. I'm a little bit surprised I was within range for that. Wanna try out Rev 2 with someone I haven't gotten to play it yet? Ah. Uh, I mean, you're free to join the room, but know that everyone that plays this game will bully you. Why didn't it let me set P house, or S house? That's cool. You know what my problem is? I'm trying to approach him too hard. Just hit it twice. Try to back there. I tried to 6H that, and apparently Mega Fist happened so quickly that I couldn't. Am I dead? I'm dead. Could have teched there, but I don't know how that would have worked out. God damn it! Don't play it, old heads are unavoidable. <laughs> I only got top 600 monthly Potemkin and Strive because I played against the 112th Ram player. War 112th Ramothal World Player. You earn the best from getting your ass kicked. You're right. That is definitely true. But I will say that I believe that Potemkin is a fair bit different in this game than he is in that game. God damn it. Ah, oh, that's unblockable. I forgot. Uh. 
Ah, shoot. He actually got that reflect on the minion. The one, the only one he actually got. Could I have teched that? Even if I could have, would that have not killed me? Shoot. I tried really hard to actually get my command grab super. Didn't happen. gonna kill me he's first my problem is that I actually am approaching him that is definitely still my problem I keep trying to keep him away from the houses but I need to not care about the houses I need to or at least not care by putting pressure on him I need to care by putting the houses behind me and then playing neutral in front of them He's very different, I tried him out a bit, and he's like, the same but different. Yeah... Honestly, I would say that this one's better, given that he has a couple more tools. Hi, Lee, hi. Shoulder bash. I did not know you could blink after Potemkin Buster. Also, also, only losing is damaging to the mental. I think IB is worse as a mechanic than third strike parry. Aren't they essentially aren't they functionally the same? Okay. By the back dash, didn't get it. Wait, that's a project Hold on! Slidehead has been a projectile this entire time? I did what I did, but I don't understand how that happened. How did that happen? I'm dead. Why did we clash? I don't... Or not clash, why did we trade? There's no way Potemkin's Aegis Reflector isn't a projectile, so he must have pressed the button that just traded with my button, and then I got hit by Aegis Reflector. So... Wait, but it should still expend the hitboxes on the move. Ah, oh, my. Hmm. I don't understand what happened there. Well, that sucks. on me okay 
didn't think that would stun me. Uh, he probably knew that that would stun me. Shoot, tried to mash that and then got grabbed. Faded with a sweep. And block it. Can you do that twice? Kind of wondering why that didn't hit me. Wait, why didn't the first slide head hit me? Birthday train. What about birthday train? Um, I think IV is worse a mechanic than third strike parry, because parry, you know if you miss, you're about to get blown up. I... What, you mean like because it's a different direction, it's either you miss the parry or you take damage? Or sorry, you get the parry or you take damage? And you think that that's better? Oh, that's interesting. You got me, I tried to jump. God damn it. Okay. Why, why, why does, why is this such a consistency? And good to know, Slidehead is in fact a projectile. Alright. Aye, that's a really long far slash. High risk, high reward. I gotcha. Mega Fist. Damn it! Those normals are too long. He just knows how to avoid a lot of what I do. Slide head. What are you trying? Damn, he really knows the range for Potemkin Buster. Versus low risk, low reward, variable reward. Wait, but you can't parry everything in Third Strike and then just get a reward off of it, right? There are only certain situations in which you can parry something and then guaranteed get a payoff. Aren't there? I, granted, there are more situations where it's just straight payoff, but... I don't think it's every single one is... There's just a reward. Uh, question marks? Everything trades. Every time. Try to jump that, but... Like, I knew something was coming there. I'm gonna try to jump. Also, just more hype, I guess. Spacing, but I did have the right idea. Wow. 
Okay. I don't know how to... <laughs> I guess I don't know how to keep him away from me and keep the houses protected. Because I still have to worry about Slidehead. To... Like, Slidehead hitting me means that he's able to approach. And then if he's just slowly walking towards me, I have to worry about his long normals and him hitting the house. Like this. Because he's outranging me there, but I can't really stop that. Okay. Damn it. Did it twice? Uh, okay, that caught my back dash. That feels bad. That feels really bad. Hoping to outspace that. Okay, just make it this. Right. Through the houses. Try to back that. Okay. Oops. I need to not play far away from him, oddly enough. At least I feel like that's the case. Damn it. Okay. Please, thank you. Damn. Ah, I tried to jump. Shiny Saka. 
tried to hit him, but his suit was faster than my far slash. Jesus Christ. Alright, yeah, okay, my eyes aren't deceiving me. That's just a really long command grab range. because he can shoot. So this is what Jacko was like, huh? Kind of, but I mean, he made one correct read and then it's all over. Because she has really low health. to jump, but I guess I was locked in block stun? Really? Tried to jump, but I guess I was locked in block stun. When I input up, I guess. Not so much. I didn't hold the input, so... Time to bring some jam to the table today. Oh boy. What a start. I wonder how this matchup goes. Interesting decision. Oh yeah, Jam's cards, what about them? Oh, right, character-specific stuff. Whoa! Hm. Yeah, I guess. What's up, Andy Isaac? So you're more of a Rev 2 guy than Strive, just like me? That is not right. I think I like Strive more than I do Rev 2, because there are less annoying as hell resets. Alright. Try to backdash, didn't get it. That's really annoying. Heat house is already out, don't know why I'm pressing it like it's not. By the back dash, got swept. Every time. Okay, just did it. Oops. 
plus R is undefeated, to be honest. I don't know anything about plus R, but I feel like at a higher level, the game would make me just as angry. God damn. Oh, that's not exactly what I expected. Oh, thank God, I wasn't. Damn. Ah, hammer fall, he just did it. Resets her fun. Resets her fun, spot at the skull girls. Enjoy her. <laughs> Resets are not fun, bro. Reset, continuous reset gameplay, I do not enjoy. Not at all. Because it makes me feel like, okay, I wouldn't have gotten hit here if I just understood what was happening. I hate that. I really hate that. Oh, didn't follow up. What? Wake up dust? I wonder if I would like this game more if I had a different character. If I had, like, ABA or someone that I legitimately enjoyed to play. Not to say that I don't really enjoy Jacko. Because I do still enjoy her to a degree, but it does feel like... I'm not actually playing Exer, because I'm not. I'm playing Jacko. I'm playing Guilty Gear 2 Overture instead of Exer. And that'll get me far enough versus the people that don't understand how the character works, but it won't get me that far versus people who do understand how the entire game works. But as long as I have a decent enough grasp over the universal mechanics, I kind of just eat dirt. Plays as Ryle and resets all the time. I don't reset people, I end my combos. I don't know what you're talking about. I end my combos into a knockdown and get pissed off when they don't tech and then I don't know what to do because if I use 2A then they just just tech over me and that's it. Is Jam and Strive though I lost the hang of the game since Happy Chaos? No, she's not. Alright. Oops, should have blocked. All right, PRC. That's that's actually really aggravating. I I had the correct guess, and then. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That hurt a lot. And that killed him. No, it didn't. That did, though. The OTG did. Uh, WoW wants to play ABA but doesn't play plus R. That's because I don't exactly like plus R that much more than this game. It has, like I said, similar problems. 
in fact, maybe even more oppressive problems. Because every problem that this game has, that one has tenfold. There are still aerial reset situations that can get extremely aggravating. There is still character-specific nonsense, even more so to a degree than Blaze Blue, in fact. Like, Zappa having a sword that can hit you high as long as he's in the air from full screen. And then, uh, Biken being a character in general, with the whole... I'm blocking, and now I'm not blocking, and you got hit. Faust with the item pool that's ridiculously big, and then some items are like... Dude, what the hell, why does he even have this? Like, Mini Potemkin. Mini Potemkin was ridiculous. Let's make Mini Faust, but let's make it hit you continuously until he finally walks off screen. Yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. This is great. This is beautiful. And then there's Venom. I fought that one Venom player that really understood ball placement, and in turn, he just completely decimated me. Almost felt like I couldn't be anywhere on the screen, because if I was on the screen, then I was either getting hit by balls or getting hit by a stick. It doesn't mention Testament. Oh yeah, and then there's Testament! With, like, let me set this tree, but I don't have an actual animation for setting the tree, so... You're gonna hit me, and then you're just gonna get hit by a tree, and you won't know why. Or, like, when I when it was set, you won't know where it is. It'll just hit you. You're welcome. Question marks? Okay, sideways karate chop. I was not expecting just 5H. Yeah, that's grabbable. You're right. You get testament, the trees go away? Yeah, they go away by appearing on screen finally and then hitting you. Okay, you swept. Blitz shield? Where'd it go? Where'd my blitz shield go? Wait, you're a aren't you able to blitz shield a blitz shield if you're in even if you're in the air? I don't understand what happened there. I'm very confused. Cliff better and Kagura fight me? I don't know anything about Cliff. So I can't say anything. I only know something about him having a young install. Oh, 
Don't forget about Arakune jumping low, or just Arakune. That's... Okay, my honest opinion is that's not that big of a deal, because he doesn't one-touch curse you anymore. It does still hurt, and it does still build curse. It is a little bit of a problem, but... There are still generally a lot of places that you can be to not only avoid that, but deal with the character. But I guess it is still something that you need to know about, so yeah, never mind. My argument doesn't exactly fit. So, how do instant kills work? Do they just take your whole bar if you miss? Yes. If you do an instant kill but don't actually touch anything, then your entire tension meter goes away for the rest of the match? I think it's the rest of the match. You just don't get to do anything like Blitz Shield, YRC, any, R any RC, really. No supers, no nothing. No, you just... You're done. Who's fine in Blaze Blue then? I like Cliff, to be honest, but Kagura is a bit different. Kagura is what Cliff's supposed to be. <laughs> that was just as bad as Arakune. I... that's... I don't think that's right, no. Because... The thing about... Uh... The thing about Zappa is that he almost always has read a ready access to his nonsense. It's just... Use whatever it's called. Use the thing that summons Ghost. And then... Boom, just like that, you got Ghost. Alright, I'm kind of surprised you got away with that. Shoot. Meanwhile, Arakune still has to... Sure wish I understood a uh, Blitz Shield combo. Okay. Okay. Man, this game is so much cooler than Strive. <laughs> it definitely has a lot more variety in other things that you can do with it. Okay. Oh wait, is that grab involved? What is that, 5k? Don't tell me that's grab involved. Okay, you got me. Pay your own return bill. Oh, as in, like, the yeah. pot's cleaning? Yeah, because he understands how to play the game. He's a... I think... I don't remember if Tenjin confirmed that he was a tournament player, but he definitely knows about this guy. Zappa summons a random? I thought they were attached to timer. And even then... Uh... Zappa summons... He still has ready access to all of the summons, he can just do it. Even if it's a little bit randomized, all of the things have a use. Dog can put you in an infinite block string, ghosts can curse you, and then now he's just another Arakune. Uh, what's it called? Uh... Frickin... Sword can put you in high-low mix from full screen and the ridiculously long box string. And then Big Ghost will just hit you for your entire health bar. So... Uh, he's pretty much a tournament player. I think I saw him playing in a BB tournament. Ah, okay. He's definitely a very good pot. That is for sure. Uh, how does one join the lobby? Um, uh, I s if you search NA as Gert Locker told you, you should be able to find it. This NA East, the name of the room is Nerd Stream. Last one. Uh, okay, then. Oh, 
Okay. Kind of surprised you were able to jump that one. Tried to burst, but he already hit me. See, that's cool and all, but I'm here to fight everyone, not just one guy. Well, he said this was the last one, so... How do you search on different regions? I don't play in rooms that often. I'm not sure. How do I... Steve's about to hit the delete button after stream. Oh, you betcha! I will go straight to uninstalling this game and reinstalling GG Strife. And then I will proceed to not play that one either, and only stick to Blaze Blue and Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Or better yet, maybe I'll reinstall Grand Blue. Learn a little bit about the new mechanics in that game. I come down to Florida and shank you, I swear to the Lord. What happened? What? What did I do? Am working, can't really explain, sorry, because he has his head up BB's booty. Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. Why do you just ignore the houses? Damn! That's uh, that that beats out low. That's that's a high profile. I'm sad about that. Really glad you missed input there. Shoot. I don't know what game I'm playing, but it's definitely not guilty here. I did not need to punish that, or did not need to try to punish that with, um... What's it called? U.S. Goes away. It's fine. I wanted to put the houses back, but I couldn't. I'm really surprised I was able to. All right, maybe rollback netcode is good because I'm. I I can't believe I actually blocked that overhead. I reacted to that. this one. Ah, I do know about this one. How am I blocking these? 
Life walk, Katatsu one too many times. I might do it, man. Wow, uh, Jim is hella thin. Bit too early for Grand Blue. I still need to figure out how Overdrive works and the Roman cancel thing. I never touched the game after they added both of those, so I kind of want to learn. I'll not give you poop for liking BB, but you cannot argue that it is a good fighting game. I will be very grumpy if you do. Okay, one, good is subjective. Two... Like... I... Mm. How did I wait until they give us a, at least a date? It's way too early. I guess you're right. Um, one good is subjective. Two... I still... I want to make the argument that both Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue and even Street Fighter, all of them are good games. They just appeal to specific people. They're all part of a kind of niche. Well, Street Fighter's a little bit more broad than that. It, that one... That one's just fighting games in general. I don't think that one hits a niche of the genre. There's the burst. Why do you keep pressing this? I'm, I swear to God, I'm gonna make you... I'm gonna make you stop pressing that button one way or another. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Never mind. We're good. GG players are crack addicts, you right. GG players are part of CBT niche, you also right. But honestly, that's all fighting game players. Dash immediately after teching somehow. I did not double jump, and I don't understand why my stick said I did. You got me. Oh my reaction to that, bro. BB players are meth addicts on the corner eating that meaty bee. Yeah. BB players block more in one match than GG players in their entire career. It changed my mind. You are correct. Don't need to change your mind about something that is just fact. Uh, uh, uh. Get away from me. You got me? Beep, beep. I forgot you had one of those. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why do you, why do you mash? Why do you mash? Why do you mash so much, bro? I'm gonna... Who gets hit by fireballs and has a minion at his feet and then just decides I'm gonna press 2H? Who does that? I was about to try to reflect that. Really glad I didn't. Is that about mashing? It's about sending a message? I'm about to send a message to him. That being the L that I shall hand him for mashing. That is not what I wanted. Let's say. Yeah, thanks, rollback. Back in that corner. Shoot. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, with four question marks. There's only one cab open. Get on the cab. There he goes. I'll mash and you will like it. Ooh. Steven mashes, what a masher. Sean Yasaka mashes, oh my god, look at the read. All right, this is like this is what I'm talking about with a whole bunch of air resets. Okay. A bar, eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. How do you do this? This, this? this might actually kill me. Depends. OTG. You don't know how hard I was mashing that. Because I knew you were going to put a gap in that string somewhere. But still extend your hurt box, hit box, the green one. One time you don't mash, but I mistime it. Damn, risk gauge, uh, risk gauge sure is cool. Bruh. Yeah, I mean. 
You really just did that again? You you really spent your meter for this. You really did that. You really did that. No. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. Uh, what's up, Soul Zero? Stronger Boy playing unplayable tier, very traditional. Huh? Saying Jacko's unplayable tier? That's not true at all. Jacko's a great character, I just don't know how to use her right. I don't know how to play her without playing Guilty Gear 2 Overture. Dumb like that, I wasn't done with her work. I also play GG, I should know, this game is definitely not about blocking in GG. You block two normals and it's like, nah, that's enough of that. Furiously press this button. <laughs> Could've killed Burst version? Burst? Burst version of Elysian Driver doesn't exist. Oh my Christ. I'm gonna make you respect me. That sucks. The only burst version or burst super that Jacko has is Calvados. The volleyball thing. Not talking about you, I was referring to Jam. Oh. Ouch. The worst characters in the game are like Zato and Pot, if I recall correctly. So Jacko's not that bad. Yeah, the reason why Zato doesn't work is because apparently he doesn't have anything that he can actually YRC, or at least not well. Nothing that he gets a legitimate payoff for. So every other character in the game gets to use this universal mechanic to its fullest, at least one way or another. But he can't. Also, damn, you really got that exactly correct. Nice. And then Potemkin's problem is that he just... I think he's still a good character, because he can still use YRC to a degree, but he's just, like, not as powerful as some of the others in a lot of cases. He's an air attack again. Does that have upper body involved? That can't be. No, wait, this game doesn't have head property or anything. Calvados. This game doesn't have a head, body, foot property thing like Blazeblue does, so I don't know why you were able to avoid that. Maybe I just missed. Jacko is pure gimmick character. Once you stumble upon someone who knows the matchup, you will have access. You will not have access to play the heckin' game. That's in the case. That's in my case where I'm not actually playing the character right. But supposedly this character can work if you know what you're doing. I just don't. Because the other day there was this Raven player that went to Evo a couple of times, I think, and then he said that he was eliminated by a Jacko player. And he was significantly better than me. He actually understood this game to definitely a better degree. So the Jacko player that fought against him understood the game. Understood what he should have been doing with the character. Why can I not DP? I swear I'm inputting. I have a lot of high profile slash low profile BS and frame frame dependent disjoint. Hmm? Uh, I don't know why you can't DP. You might just be timing it wrong because I know that the buffer window for something like that is strange in this game. Just run at me, I guess. Does have hurt boxes, you nerd. 
then I must have messed up. That lag spike really, really screwed up my whole ass game plan, huh? What the? How dare you? How dare you? He finally found the room, but... Can't believe you would come into my room with a name like this. <laughs> After like 17 refreshes, I found it? Oh, okay. Nice. Welcome. I see you are plotting on my downfall with a name like that. Why did you do this? Hey, get on the cab, buddy. You want to play? Aren't you gonna get in the chair too, Shawnee Saka? I do got to head out for now though. Ah, okay. <laughs> GG's, my man. <laughs> what the heck? Forgot that pallet was in a game. Okay, just nasty. Okay, just jump. My house is. I messed up. Bruh. I don't remember what house play I actually have out. Aegis Reflector? Jacko's complete doggy water, her ass is grass without the houses, and she doesn't have the basic tools to defend the houses, so she's already tuning it without a win condition. I wouldn't quite say that. You just have to- Yeah? Thanks, Rollback! You just have to know how exactly you should be defending the house. I will say that it does feel sometimes like she does lack basic tools, but that's intentional because she's supposed to work with mainly the houses. She's supposed to be extremely oppressive with the houses, but you just have to make up for what you don't have with the character with, you know, correct reads and other things of that nature. I don't know why I received that. Nah, 
So confused on what this Jacko version does. Um, so, oh right, you play Shrive. So she can set houses, and the houses will spawn a minion on a timer, and she can set three different types of houses. P minion goes midway, has a sword, he'll slash every time he actually attacks. K minion is on the floor. Uh, he'll hit you in the feet, but I don't believe it's a low, I'm not sure. You, I don't remember. S minion will be in the air and will shoot at you when you actually jump. All of them, like I said, work on their own individual timers. The houses level up the longer that they're on the floor. And then... Uh... This lets me do a various couple of other specific things. That barrier deflects projectiles. That one makes my minions blow up, and my houses. And then this one makes my minions attack faster. And this one puts my house to wait. But the basic idea is... Prevent... Or the game plan when fighting Jacko is prevent Jacko from being able to set up houses safely. Because if the houses are there for a long enough period of time, then they... Uh, you're, you're in a really bad situation. Because now you're defending... Now you're playing legitimate tower defense. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Oops. Even competent players can only gimmick out the opponent and resort to knowledge checks for the dubs? That's this entire game. The whole point is... The whole point in a lot of situations are resetting your opponent or putting yourself in an advantageous situation, usually using YRC. There's so much going on. Yeah, it, it gets easier to process the more you play, needless to say. Like, yeah, you, you, you're you in the hang of it. Or you're understanding a little bit more. If you were able to watch a lot of what that other Potemkin was doing, he was waiting until situations where he was either able to poke me out with his super long normals to prevent me from punishing him for trying to deal with the houses. Uh, he knew that if I jumped, I was probably going to air dash in and then he would react and do something about it. But a lot of the time, he was still just generally trying to approach to deal with the houses. Typically, you might want to ignore the minions. Oh, another thing that he was doing is you can flick the minions and reflect the projectile. Because they do count as projectiles. So Potemkin flick into fireball will work. And then there's that. You can also hurt my houses with it. Because everything in the game hurts the freaking houses. What a waste. What a waste of so much meter. Aegis Reflector. Other characters can usually play the neutral except Johnny and Elfelt, they just win that. <laughs> I mean, Jacko can too. Man, why Why every time you come in here you gotta spit a hot take? Like, god damn it. <laughs> Can't we do one stream where we don't argue? What exactly does the pot shield do? Just block? Uh, you mean Aegis Reflector? I think that's just a hitbox. I don't fully remember what it does. 
He's like he's being sarcastic. I don't think he's. I, I don't think so. Oh, hammer fall. Another thing that that other Potemkin player was doing was he was playing extremely patiently, where he knew that if he wasn't, if he wasn't stuffing one of my approaches with a button, then he was blocking to make sure that I was in a disadvantageous situation. He was also sweeping a lot because there's nothing I can really do to punish that. Like he would do stuff like that pretty consistently. You're getting, you're definitely getting the hang of it pretty quickly. Okay, I don't know if that was worth the burst. I couldn't have killed you. Nah, you're not killing my houses with that. That would have probably... Interesting. Um... I didn't think I would win with that. I honestly didn't. Damn. I don't even remember what I was saying. Um... I think I was gonna say that honestly likely would have killed the houses. If, uh, if I just let it rock. Otherwise, that's some take most GG expert players won't agree to. How many people actually play Jacker, though? In GG. Not me trying to figure out if the burst button is R1 or R2. Well, no. <laughs> um. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you heard me complain about this before, but Burst also hits houses. And hitting me in general, be it Dead Angle or Burst, will get rid of minions. But that what you just did there, that was bad. You weren't walking forward, and because of that I got to set up all three houses. And you are dealing with them now, but... Generally, walking forward is something that, but yeah, yeah, you're, you're spacing me now. Help. What the heck? Thanks, rollback. Thanks, rollback. That's the wrong button. That was the other thing that that guy was doing. He was using slide head to... Uh, make sure that I'm getting boned. What the? We clash? Okay. I've been butted. But if he was at too far a distance to contest, he would think about when I'm landing from something and then proceed to slide head me. And then now I'm in a bad situation because he just does two, uh, two hammer fall breaks and then he's right next to me. It's not opinion. I watched a Ramola video called The Consequences of Loose Gameplay, where she talked about Jacko and Batman being pure gimmick knowledge checks. Characters and became useless once opponents know what to do. I I don't really know what to tell you if like if I can give you the example of the one Raven player that washed me. 
pretty freaking hard losing to a Jacko player still that I can only assume knew the game better than I if that's not enough that the character is still able to be played then I don't know what'll prove it to you I will admit that once you understand the gimmicks of how Bedman and Jacko work it does become significantly easier to fight the matchup like more so than it would be for any other character in the game but I will say that they are still playable characters given that they're not said to be as bad as characters like Zato. Shoot, Mega Fist on Wake Up. He didn't know the matchup? Then how did he watch me and know what I was doing? I play a, a, a style of Jacko that only relies upon those gimmicks. But that Jacko that he fought in tournament must have known more, or known how to- what the heck? Known how to play the game better. Therefore, he just outskilled the man. He under- he proved the character working correctly. Half circle back P, I think. Wait, for what? know how to do that fire whirlwind move. Oh, yeah, th that's, that's what you're talking about. I have no idea. I don't remember. Ah! Mega Fist. No. Oh, now I just win. Even when you know the matchup, you not just win. 1,862 ping, by the way. Is that what it spiked to? I didn't see. Please, plug the router back in. Jesus Christ, Mega Fist. Outskilled, he out... Not outskilled, he out knowledge checked the man. So I... Neither of us can prove this, because neither of us saw the match that that man went through. However, I feel like you... Ah, that was not supposed to be bad. However, I feel like you're putting way too much... You're putting way too much... Credit into what a specific character can do... Can and can't do in whichever situation. If the player is powerful enough, and understands the game enough, they can still do some things versus whichever other players. Like, it's not strictly on knowledge checks, is what I'm trying to get at. True false Steve plays the exit version of Arakune? <laughs> Wait, hang on. No, stop. Don't call me out like this, because that might be true. Why I just did something that I already did before. Ow. Alright. I beat the Mega Fist. Damn, every time you spit, my man's are just like, it's the opinion of other person, you seem to just be purely influenced, you're literally, I've been told this must be the truth. I wouldn't quite say, I, I don't know, I guess it does kind of feel like that, because at one point you can still pull in a video as an example, but at the same time you shouldn't just take that video or whichever example that you're being shown as fact. You still have to apply whichever or whatever knowledge you might know about the game yourself, or whatever other things in whichever environments to the same argument to see if that is actually fact. But for the record, I know who Romola is. I'm aware that Deb... What Deb did? Alright, bro, at this level, Jacko is fine. Hmm? Improving slowly? Definitely. Definitely you are. She won exit tournaments. Okay, then. No, no, not Dizzy. Anything but Dizzy, please.
breath. All right, you got me. I nice spike. Gotta love it. Hit in this corner. Ah, uh, flame YRC. But that's an interesting use of your meter. Like I'm saying, having the knowledge of what this character does and what Bedman does definitely does make the matchup significantly easier for whoever is playing it because you will understand what's going on a lot better. But it's not like the characters are unplayable. They're definitely playable. Ouch! I set that house, I don't know why I did. Question marks, why did I get close slash? Oh, ice! Got him. Not at all. You could say that thematically similar, since both use curses slash ghosts in their moves, but in terms of how they play, they're no, they're very different. Zappa is like top one character in his game, and he has distinguishedly oppressive neutral game with sword. Yeah, this is what I was getting at before. Also, why are we not continuing? What's happening? You know, that logic is what Flat Earthers use. You have been told this in school, so you just assume it's true. It's very dumb logic and not a good one. I, it's so zero, but that doesn't exactly help that you're... He's saying that's what you sound like. You haven't... said. You haven't disproved this, or disputed this. And the only reason that he's saying that this is what you sound like is because the only example that you have provided as to why you have stated this is from a video that you saw. And not from trial and error yourself, not from match footage that you might have seen in which there is a high-level Jacko squaring off against a high-level other player, and then seen that they might have done gimmicks and resets and then they worked, and the only reason that they did work is because the other person didn't know? Like, no, there, there's nothing like that. There's nothing of that nature being said. It's just, I saw a video, and here you are. That means this character's whack. Like, it just... It just sounds like you got the one opinion and then parroted it. Instead of got the one opinion, thought about it a little bit, tested it and researched it a little more, and then... Then said, yeah, alright, I agree with that, or yeah, no, that's that's whack, that's wrong. Wait, what about Vanilla Kune? What about Vanilla Kune? Vanilla CF Kune? Vanilla CF Kune was top tier, but he still didn't have dominant neutral. No, like, first BB cal calamity trigger? Also, what's the deal with the game? Why is the game broken, bro? This game is Kusuke in the extreme. Also, I didn't play Arakune in that game because I didn't play that game. <laughs> Every character is good if you're willing to make him good. Take false players, for example. Those dudes are crazy in high-level play. Uh, That, I want to say, is still debatable. Every character definitely has, you know, a certain skill ceiling at some point where it's like... This, at the highest level, is pretty insane, but I will say there are still other characters in the game that will not necessarily invalidate them, but at the very least do their job, but maybe better. And I guess I have to restart the whole ass game because it just decided to freeze on the match end screen. Pretty sure Deb knows Jacko matchup. Ask her if she, if she wins 100% of the time versus Jacko now. Heard about Akune and Calamity Trigger, how he had recurse routes out the ass? Oh, no. Pretty sure she might lose to a Jacko still. It's not that Jacko has got one single meld check. It's the different number and different situations you still need to adjust to on the fly. Exactly. At least that's part of it. 
screw it. Put up or shut up. Prove it in the game right now. <laughs> Lobby's open, pick up the stick, or just stop. Oh man. What's up, Lord Ratatosk? There's an anti Jacko document. Is there now? Kick my ball. How dare you? For whom do you fight? Myself? He presented evidence and match footage. It's not like she just said the opinion and took it for and I took it for a fact. Well, I assume so. I assume that is the case. But you're still parroting it and not giving the examples in which that were shown in the video at the very least. If you were to give me that information and then show me or give me some examples that might have been used in the video, that would have also made your argument more powerful. That would have made me take it a little bit better. But it's just that you said it, and then said that you saw a video, and that was the end of it. Quiet stamp. Ah, the big kick. Ah, the big kick. And it revolver. Uh, you might have gotten me? No, you didn't. Okay, you don't care about houses at all. Good to know. You also, for some reason, don't tech ever? Why? Brown Viper. Yeah, no. What? Watch the video then? I'm not gonna watch it right now. No. This sucks. Interesting decision? I mean, I guess it worked. His name is Butler. What a what a name. That's sweet. Oof. Saw some of Deb's videos, I agree to most stuff she says, but even the Zato or I assume that's supposed to be pot. Or at the very bottom, and in all tier lists or below, Jacko still gets wins. Same deal with Jacko. Hmm? Hmm. Oof, too close. So I think I... Guys, I really hate Gunfling. Like, it's a combo ender. Not really an ender, it's like a resetter. In which, if you get hit by it, it's the freest combo that's about to hit you in the world. This is gonna hurt. I don't know about that one, Chief. Block the flame and then get reset because he's gonna run at me while the flame is going and then I'm I'm dying and then if I try to contest with a button I trade and then if we trade he's winning because that flips me up into the air it's not like I'm still standing no it's a launcher the whole ass projectile is a launcher why why is a projectile a launcher it's a mid oh my god. Oh my god, Lord Ratatosk. Been watching too much Lord Knight. There's a difference between knowledge check characters in the bottom tier. I'm not saying they're the same. But... Your argument before was that the character is unplayable if the enemy knows what... 
how the game works and how the character works. Which, at least to me, sounds akin to the character just being bad. Also, forward tech has partial invul. Does it? I didn't know that. Wait, but even then, you, you're still getting comboed if you got hit by the gun flame. That's happening. Please understand this, your opinion is valid, just doesn't want to be heard here. That's not it. I'm fine with hearing his opinion. Why didn't that hit you? Gun faint. It's not that it, it's a matter of it doesn't want, or that I don't want his opinion heard here. It's a matter of... I would like the opinion to be said, but with at least a little bit of backing behind it from something, like a little bit of elaboration on it, so that it's not just... I should not have done this. It's fine. So that it's not just, here's thing, here's thing that I think, here's why I think otherwise, alright, that's the end of the conversation. Sorry, here's here's the thing that I think. Here's the reason why I think otherwise, and more information on that, and then it ends there because there's no more information from the other side that spouted the first thing in the first place. That's what I have a problem with. Say whatever you want here, whatever, whatever your opinion is. Let me say what I want in return. You actually just swept on wake up and it worked. I can't believe it. Riot stomp on wake up and then dive kick. Hate this character. Say whatever you want, and I'm gonna say my piece about it, but make sure that you have whatever you need to back it up later. To back it up after I make my response. Assuming it disagrees with whatever you might have said. Screw me, grab my DP. That sucks. I should have 6P'd. I don't know why I didn't. Ow. Am I gonna die? No, I'm not, if he's gonna mess up the combo like that. I did not realize that would be the case. If I had known that he was gonna run out of that, then I wouldn't have... Die 6P! Played this game casually? Then you... You're just making your argument worse! I thought you said you're getting reset? I was earlier, but, um... Not so much anymore. Wow, you you got some life through hitboxes sometimes. That sucks. Wow! That's the other thing. It doesn't go away if you hit soul, so it's like guaranteed uh, you trade and then then what? Then you eat dirt. That's plus. Ah, uh, I've been 6 h The thing I think, Steven should lab as Rao Crouch confirms. Why I think it, you would get him more damage. My response to what I think he'll say in response, stop being lazy. Okay, that one's a good one. You're good about that, yes, that's fine. But he did that and was like, here's proof from a pro. So that would mean that you Strones just don't have legs in this discussion. I mean, sure. I guess you're right. No, not exactly, like, because, honestly, it's just my word against his is what I feel. Because he's given the example of the video, but not the examples the video used. I've given the example of a pro player that was in the situation of fighting a Jacko and lost to him. And I didn't see the match, sure, but... They see that they have the same weight in my eyes at the very least.
If I were given the examples given in the video, then that would be different. But I'm not going to sit down and watch the video right now while I'm streaming. Saw tournaments where Jacko players have won sets. High level Jacko players need to do a lot to win on high level because people know their matchup, but the character is not unplayable. That's the whole point. Just because people know matchup doesn't mean that the matchup is now 10 0, it's unwinnable. They just need to work harder to set houses. Jacko can fight back and get stuff set up, and then it becomes harder to stop. Right. My point is this I'm not going to add anything else. Jacko is bad, sure. She's knowledge check city. Knowledge checky, sure, but unplayable. If you know the matchup, definitely not. Right. Anyways, I'm gonna go play some Hut Showdown. Thank you for the games and for teaching me a bit. Always down to learn more and get better. See you, my mans. Hope your day goes well. And I hope the Hunt Showdown is fun for you. I have played that game a couple of times. You can loot this? Damn. Oof. I played it a little bit, but I never, um... Kind of fun for a while, but then I got bored. Uh oh. I think you both should talk about specific reasons as to why Jacko has a problem. You can't just cite top player videos and say that say that's my evidence. That's what I'm saying, right? Doesn't mean that Jacko's matchup chart isn't hot garbage, but that wasn't the argument. It started with the character's unplayable. It started with the character's unplayable if the enemy knows. I need to stop getting hit by Ride Stomp. Interesting. People see only one cab open for play and then leave the room. Always makes me laugh. Yeah. Maybe they should read the room settings. I messed up, I accidentally tried to set organ. Interesting. Round Viper on wake up. Screw me. Need to show at least some understanding as to why they said that. Well, I... Uh, how does this work? Why did yours beat mine out?! this game. Screw Danger Time. Danger Time sucks. Round like A burst? Why? Oops. Purple Roman cancel everybody. Good ass mechanic. Whoops. Okay, interesting decision. One guy did it three times today, by the way. He entered a room three times, tried approaching second cab, and left three times. <laughs> Uh, there's equivalent to saying that doctors don't know what they're talking about because they're not Citroen specific things that I can't slash won't look at right now. Oh man. Also, Steven, to what you said in the Discord, the only Halo I want to play is Halo 3 on a 360 at my cousin's house in the year 2007. That's a little bit specific. Good game design. I now I don't know what you're complaining about. Honest to God, I really don't. Assuming that that was sarcastic. That's the thing that sucks. I can't like. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic.
I've been swept. Dude. Pretty sure it was in time in response to danger time. Oh, okay, then yeah, never mind. Yeah, that, that's that's a problem. Danger time is a problem, but I still like it. I'll die on this hill. My 6P! You got me. Well, that's bad. Interesting. My meter! No, it's not good game design. He's being sarcastic. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Even though I know it's bad game design, I still like it. Nice riot stomp. Cool. Interesting. You always have to use Kappa on Twitch to denote sarcasm or people will take you seriously. <laughs> Anytime I play with a friend, 95% of the time first clash triggers danger time. Only with him though. Weird. Maybe it's uh, game client based or IP based. Who knows? Oof. Ground Viper. What the heck? I did not mean to pick up that house. Nah, none of that. Stop it. Put the headband back on, Soul. Frickin' Fafnir. Whoa. about that what do you mean how was he able to burst why was he able to burst shoot low profile bro. is soul able to burst even if uh is soul able to burst even if he should be recovering from uh, dragon install. That's not the direction I wanted to throw you. 
It's not trashy. I'm out here molding. Freaking. Whoa! Okay, we're good. No idea. Shoot. I was surprised her grenade timer is. Hang on. Let me let me re let me read up. I had a really funny cursed danger time moment where Elfelt's grenade hit him meaty after the danger time countdown. Ooh. Surprised her grenade timer is still went through during the uh, danger time startup. Oh right, that's a thing. Forgot that was a thing. Okay. Don't know if that was worth the burst. Nah, you see, that's what Aegis Barrier is for, son. Ah, you just DP. Brown Viper. I, you are insane. I, I can't predict stupid. I really can't. Can't predict stupid. This 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 should have been an air grab. What the the dragon install has iframes, frames. I didn't know. Pirate rave. Two Fighter Six Beta is thirteen gigs with most characters missing. Bro. Oof. Okay. I love this. Well, this hurts. Oh, that has a bigger hitbox in front. What's it feel like to be not blocking? Wish I knew. Wait, that's supposed to... That hits so high that it'll still hit me out of my 5H? Hmm. Because 5H is supposed to high profile some lows, but I guess not. Training mode is ass though, health doesn't regen and there's no reset button on the beta. What the heck? Why? Why do you do this? Okay. And I lost my house. Shoot. Oh, I messed up. Got him. Alright, you know there's... This crap game implemented low health pauses when both players press buttons at the same time, so Tekken 7 is a massive ripoff. Eh. It does it matter? It doesn't matter! Ah, Volcanic Viper! 
Like, God forbid a game take like a small, subtle nuance of some other game that was interesting and then implement it into their game too. Shoot. I could have blocked that, but I tried to like super. Uh, okay. Volcanic Viper. I don't think I could have done very much about that other than blocked, but... Like, if I had blocked that, then maybe I would have won. Not even maybe. Because that should still be punishable. But I just kind of didn't expect him to do it. I also, for some reason, don't expect Dragon Install to work the way that it does. Ah, right, what the heck? That's disjoint. Why did I do that? Nah. Like, so zero, I don't get it, man. Every time, it's always something negative to say about whatever game it might be that I'm playing. And if it's a fighting game, that it's like, if it's not Blaze Blue, this is whack for X reason. I don't get it. I do not understand. World is full of love sometimes. You should find some of it. Don't ask why I set up all those houses to put them all back. Uh, for some reason that doesn't work. You need a better crack, my dude? What? Oh, as in... Not, not the drug you're talking about. Piracy, I think. Ah, uh, glad I didn't jump. Ah! the hell you mean? Why did that work? Stop that. That's like, that really got on my nerves right there. Okay. YRC. Hammer fall. I tried to back dash, but YRC took my second back input. Oof. Shout the YRC eating inputs, that is a very good mechanic. Now I sound like a hater, screw me. Okay, let's do it twice. Why did that not follow up? Okay. Every time, I don't think that he has the ability to wake up and flick before the thing hits him, but I guess that's not the case. Oh, 
That makes me sad. I just went for dust. I don't know if that was necessary. Life of a game designer. I don't see how being a game designer is connected here. Neither do I. I just don't question it. Instant kill. Oh, you say instant kill Pog when he gets it, but not when I get it? I see how it is, Tengen. I see how it is. Ow. Man. Bruh. Okay. Where are my active frames, though? Freaking lick. That makes me really annoyed. Potemkin, though, you play Jacko. Once you play Potemkin, I might pog for you. All right. Shoot, I didn't think we would block that. I tried to back dash, but. Shoot. How many, how many times can you do this? Oh. This missed attack. How did you backdash twice? That still hit me. Okay, kind of surprised. Thought I was too low. All right, I look at games mechanics very critically, so when I find one, I really get obsessed with it and why it's bad. So I just keep bringing them up in conversation. I mean, sure, all right, that's fine. Just still, I think you just need to like back the point a little bit better with other things. I don't think that Astrals are a better version of it. I do think that Astrals are a better version of Instant Kills. Why so? God damn it. Yeah. 
That still hit me. Why did that trade? Alright. Okay. Oh. I'm getting really tired of Hammerfall doing that. I can't punish that. I don't know why I didn't. Shouldn't have mashed Because they're only at the end of the game after at least one round. That's the only reason? Because I would say that instant kills affecting the game... I would say that instant kills affecting the game before this the final round is almost never a thing. I'm gonna try to backdash that. Yep! Okay! Making me remember why I hate YRC. Shoot, didn't get any time. What am I doing? My DP? And why is that trade? That's really unfortunate. I actually mashed looking for the read, but then he did Mega Fist. I had the read, but not the right buttons, or not the right range. Uh, to major region reason, Astros are like Ultras in KI. I still don't really... You know. Why are you getting away with that? That doesn't have eye frames on startup, so I'm mistiming my media. That has eye frames apparently though. Question marks? I didn't know he had a DP. You got away with that. Please put the organ away, Jacko.
All right. How in God's name did you blitz shield that? But I don't care, it's fine. Huh? Don't tell me you can low profile my 5k with If he can low profile my 5k with 6p I'm gonna be real pissed That's really cool. Mega Fist YRC. That makes me annoyed. Um. Fighting games for third person shooters. I'm a gameplay designer, though. You can name a re released game you were part of or help design, I guess. Wait, what? Dude, I'm looking forward to seeing you compete in Blaze Blue with Frosty Boss things. Uh, does anyone want to tell him? I get really annoyed at that. I get really annoyed at Whiff to jump next to me, and then somehow I'm in I'm command grab. Why did you bounce off of that wall, but you were able to tech instantly? Why was he able to tech instantly off of that counter hit 6H? Is it because both hit? No, that can't be right. What game specifically? I'd love to see some of your work. I'm still working. Strange isn't going to Frosty to even out the competition. Him being there is simply unfair. He wants to give the rest a chance. Exactly. Tenjin said it best. Strange only plays DBFZ competitively now. Yup. Okay. Alright. 
right? By Calvados? That hits really high. Okay. Saying that part of the work I was part of, specifically, I didn't get involved with the branding of the game, but they were very generic and stupid, and I'm embarrassed about working on them, so I won't mention them. Most of solo work has been scrapped, never seen the light of day, but the ones I'm currently working on are coming nicely in like four years. I. Hmm. To be proud of any work that you have done, even the failures. Always something to learn. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm not playing. I see. Thought I was. What the heck? Round star DP? Uh oh. No, there's actually competitive Mahjong player. He doesn't play it on stream to not reveal his secret Mahjong theories. Which, with which he will take over the entire Mahjong scene. Right. Bot doesn't know to 6p riot stomp. You can do that? I thought it hit low enough that that wasn't an option. Unless you're a slayer. That's the thing that I didn't like about Guilty Gear as well. The fact that the... Instead of doing the, the different properties and different moves having different properties thing... Alright. Okay. Instead of doing the different properties thing and different moves having different properties, and I know for a fact that one move will... I did not know you could armor burst. Knowing for a fact that one move will beat out another... I have to just... Keep thinking I can low profile that. Uh-huh? IDP question marks. Oh, 
6P is really good. Oh, that's what she meant. If you meant specifically with pot 6P, then yeah, I'm sure pot could do that versus Riot Stomp, but I don't think I would be able to do that because I think I'm... I think my 6P might be kind of bad, in fact. It's good for getting an enemy away from me, but... I feel like that's all it's good for, sometimes. Frickin' S minions. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Thought you were in the air. Frickin' Stanky leg. I hate that. I hate that normal. Or the air normal. That's high profile 2H. What's up, Zane? Shows up late. <laughs> Fashionably as always. Strange. Call me when ABA is added back to Guilty Gear. Chat, you can just play plus R. It still exists and ABA is still there. Strange. Wow, that's crazy. Anyways, I gotta go. If you got something you want to say to me, Discord down below. Oh my god. Uh... Be really funny if she gets added to Strive because she actually might. It's not long. It's no longer Copium. If she gets added to Strive, as long as she's fun in a similar way that she was in a, a Plus R, then I'll be fine. Because I don't find fun in Nagoru Yuki anymore. I just don't. And I don't find fun. I don't find that much fun in that version's Jacko. I've been doored. Going my way. I miss this Faust. Give me this voice back. Also, what happened to your connection? Why did it get worse? It wasn't this bad before. Or at least I didn't notice because I was winning. Wow. Nah, I ain't getting doored this time. I'm not getting doored this time. Hey, remember when they added that move into Strive and then they made it useless? They made it reactable. You know what's really funny? I can crouch confirm in this game and get two houses, but I can't crouch confirm in Blaze Blue. Fisher Price, baby's first internet connections. Got a good router you got there. Where? What happened to my Blitz Shield? Not the black hole.
You're dumb! You're dumb! You didn't mix up the cups enough! All right, this is the last one. Last one for me. Forgot to click K and switching cups. Oof. Damn, he really guessed and false used 50 meter to blow himself up. <laughs> I didn't guess, I was looking! I noticed that he was only switching the two cups on the right side, so I'm like, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Ooh, connection got worse. As his win rate as his win rate worsens, so does his internet connection. Oh, not the black hole. Anything but the black hole. Whoa. What the heck? Damn, that's the worst. Forgot you could use what could this be while you're on the stick. Me? Why? You didn't jump. Instead, you tried for. Ah, I've been overheaded. It's bad. Frick, close. Yeah, Aegis Field. Aegis Field, though. GG's, <laughs> man. Well, that's it. We're done. So what the heck is your archetype? Stronger, you play as Ryle, a glue-eating gorilla. Jacko is a cancerous, diseased, hit-and-run character. Nago is a rushdown. That's the rushdown or hit-and-run. I... It's mostly rushdown, but I guess as Ryle is my favorite fighting game character of any of them, so it's like, I like the hard-hitting dudes that unfortunately have really serious trouble in neutral. Huh. If it's not as Ryle, then it's like whatever my team is in DBFZ as well. Steven would play Steven would enjoy Arakune based on how I see him play other characters. I might, but like that's hard. That character is hard. Generally, what I like is a character with a Rekka string. If it's not a tag fighter. If it's a tag fighter, I probably don't want to play a Rekka string character. But um Well, I say that, but then TN has a Rekka string, so never mind. Uh but I'm looking for a character with a Rekka string in most cases, and I want them to not be charged before any of you guys tell me, oh, just pick Leo, he's got Rekka strings. No, no, he has charge moves, and I don't like charge moves. I hate charge moves. Answer is another character I would play if his reward were better, but unfortunately, no, it's like, here's a high that does nothing, here's a low that does nothing, here's a mid that does a little bit. Here's some scrolls that will get you 
your mix-up, but it's not as good as anything else. It's not, it's not like Bang's mix-up, where here's a scroll, and then now I'll hit, I'm gonna hit you with an eight-way mix-up, and then if this touches you, you're gonna get blown up. No, it's not like, it's not, there's none of that. It's just scroll, here's a bit of a mix-up, let me scroll again, and then maybe you'll die. And you'll guess once, and then I'll die because I have the third lowest health in the game or something. Arakuna has a record string, technically. 6C, 6C, 6C is not... I mean, I guess it is a record string, but I don't I don't care. It's not enough. Maybe I would enjoy Arakuna, but I don't want to play him. I don't... I hate it. Ah, uh, mm, I hate it. Ooh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Maybe I should play Sin. Sin's got that whole thing where he can cancel specials into the specials, and that's similar to a record string, but, like... I don't like him. I don't like the... I don't want to play him. God, I'm pissed. Mai's got a wreck of string. You're funny. Ugh. Ugh. Every time I play Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue. Every time I play this game, it always comes back to. I almost enjoy it. Almost. But. There's too much stuff that irks me. I wonder if I'll enjoy uh, Grand Blue once it gets it up. Once it gets its update. What's up, Psionic? Just in time for the end of my stream. I'm so sorry. Oh, GG. I could got rollback. Cool. I'm gonna still play BB. You and me both. Gallery voices. Alpha. May instant kill victim. I don't care. Whatever the hell. The rest of that said. No, wait. I'm dropping below 30k. Avatar head, hey you and girl. I'm good. Don't enjoy it, Exit sucks. I still don't think that this game sucks. It's just not for me. It's too fast. It's too fast in terms of speed where you can get reset too much. It's not like How do I say it? So there's there's, as you all know, different levels of speed in each fighting game, and the slowest of which usually being Street Fighter, and then I would say a step above that would probably be, like, uh, uh, Blaze Blue, and then a step above that would be maybe Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, and then at the top of it would be, uh, Exer. This is for one-on-one. -on -one. For Tag Fighters, those are what I believe are the fastest, but, uh, th that might be a different category. Uh, Blaze Blue is at just the right speed for me, usually, that I can still enjoy it. Because it's faster than Street Fighter, but not so fast that it's this, that it's Exert. And then Strive is in a similar category where it's that. It's slightly, maybe, is it slightly faster? I guess it is generally faster than Blaze Blue, or maybe it's more connected to the health. That's my main gripe about Strive, the fact that damage is so high that matches don't really feel too rewarding if you know what you're doing. At least to me. But you think Exer is a faster game than Blaze Blue? I found Exer to feel slower. I think it's faster. Because... Something will hit you pretty fast in Blaze Blue, but... Like I've said, you can figure out what it is. In Guilty Gear, it's a little bit harder to do that, I believe. I honestly gotta believe that. Maybe in there are some special cases like with um, Arakune, where he's playing it faster and you can't really exactly see what he's doing, especially when he uses the invisibility, invisibility thing. But in most cases, when I'm getting reset in Guilty Gear, I don't fully understand what it is that has reset me. There's the Ramlethal that covered whatever mixed me with the sword but I'm, mis I'm mostly thinking about, like, the Eno. Where there are a lot of situations where they're doing something that's whiffing almost intentionally, or they're getting right back into my face, and the intention is make them think that they can do something, but then grab them. Or make them tech in the air and then hit them with an air-unteckable move that is also a jumping move that leads to a full combo. It's There's too much of stuff like that. In Blaze Blue, if I'm getting aerial reset, it's either usually a grab, or 
a grounded normal that hits really high that is probably telegraph, like Naoto's 60. Zero frame grabs, gotta love it. Yeah, they're great, right? Kind of feel like Exit is also faster. Maybe to. Maybe it depends on the character. Slayer is probably pushing less buttons than Jacko. Slayer is almost certainly pushing less buttons than Jacko. But the payoff is usually more direct with him. Like, Jacko should always be doing something. Uh, be it setting houses or trying to play neutral. Meanwhile, Slayer can play a bit more of a patient game and then put you in a bad situation. Most characters in the game, I believe, can do that. But since Jacko's game plan is so heavily dependent upon houses, she needs to play the game faster. Needs to for sure, but that's not the only thing that I'm talking about is speed. It's not specifically with Jacko, it's most with the characters. Because there are just so many, so freaking many situations where you can get hit, tech, and then not know why you died next. Because there's just so much. The fact that there are jumping normals that are air unblockable is insane to me. The fact that there are some grounded specials that can be done and then they're air unblockable is insane to me. Like Jam's Dragon Kick. Jam's Dragon Kick coming off the ground and then hitting an aerial opponent and then that's just air unblockable. That doesn't make sense to me at all. I don't get that one. But, uh, it's there. It's there and it's a thing. Mm. The speed of this game is too much for me, just a little bit. Uh, there was some other thing that I might have wanted to say. Mm. Or maybe you're too slow. I'm definitely too slow. Hence why the fast game is too fast for me. Question marks? Come on, I thought you could piece that together, my mans. What are you doing? Better than this. All in all, this game ain't for me. And this might be one of the last couple of times that you'll see it for a while. Given that I don't think there's very much more to add to this game other than rollback. Not other than rollback? Other than... It's done. I'm trying to say it's done. There's nothing to do with this game anymore. They added rollback, so... I doubt this game's gonna get another update. Last time we see it until he thinks, Oh yeah, Exit, I like that game, right? And then spends a stream discovering why that was incorrect. Exactly. The age-old cycle. OMG, her dragon kick is air unblockable? Yes, it's air unblockable. It's kind of ridiculous. Because what's really funny is like way back when when i was fighting katatsu more consistently um he would hit me with something full screen and then i would tech from that and then jump and then i would just get hit by the dragon kick and i was out here thinking he's hitting me in the startup of my jump and i'm messing something up but no he's just hitting me with the kick and i'm not using meter to block it Hmm. Or until the lore through? Oh, right. Wait, but isn't the lore of this game... Isn't that just a movie? That's just a movie. Choose different modes to go into more detail about story or certain terminologies. Start. Enjoy the game's story, which is a continuation from the previous episode. GG World. Wait, hold on. The story for Exert Rev is different from the story from Exert Sign, isn't it? Yeesh, that's whack. A little bit, but not really. It, it's all once you know about it. That's the thing. This game has a whole lot of you need to know that this will happen. Or this can happen. A similar way to the... A similar thing to the way that Blaze Blue works, but Blaze Blue is... I want to say more forgiving, but... Both are in here, I think? Okay, then. Grand Blue has Fall Guys in it now. Huh? They elaborate. <clears throat> but where was I? Where was I getting at? Um, like, Blaze Blue can have things like purple grab resets, general tech resets with air grabs or grounded grabs, um, resets off of rolling, 
things like that, but generally every situation will be visible or... I guess maybe not the aerial tech into air grab, usually. Hmm. Post in the Discord later? Alright. One thing I hate about Blaze Blue is Naoto's Exceed Axel. I've seen it whiff a lot of times. When? Why? By the way, Strange, what's up? Check your mail. I swear to God, did you did you really freaking email me? Free Gacha pulling Mahjong Soul. Oh, never mind. Wait, so I just get to pull for free, or do I get a pull ticket? Because if I get to pull for free, that's one thing. No, your mailbox and Mahjong Soul. Yeah, okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to head out. Um, tomorrow is Sunday, so you will not see me. Monday, you will see me at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random game. Not really sure which. Tuesday, you will see Chrono Trigger. Wednesday, you can see... Uh, what the heck is it? Sonic Heroes. Thursday is Marvel Spider-Man. Friday is... So, I want to say it's going to be Monster Hunter, but I uninstalled Monster Hunter. So, or at least World, I did. Because I needed the space or wanted the space. You might see Monster Hunter Rise, I'm not sure. Uh, and then next Saturday, you'll see a fighting game, but I'm not sure which. Don't know at all. Might be some DBFZ, probably not. I think I'm wanting to take a break from fighting games again, maybe. It depends. We'll see next week. But yeah, I am going to head out. If you guys got anything to say to me or anyone else who's decided to join, hit up the Discord. Discord below the stream if you click the picture that says discord i am going to go get food and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day evening morning or night whatever time it might be for you thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>